The wind blows hard in December. Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Today, as you can probably tell, I'm standing in the wind, showing off how the iron brutes work. Anyway, I found this uh, hole in the ground right here, so I'm going to go into it because I don't know what's in here. And I don't remember it. Huh. We're actually down somewhere. This reminds me of the, uh... The, uh, that one part in the movie. In, uh... Xenoblade 3. You know the one. Uh, there's a bunch, just apparently a bunch of enemies here, so, um... Let's do this one! Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, no. I haven't done that yet. There we go, we got the Knight's Crest. And jump, slash. And just, just attack him. And just throw the sword at him. It's a bit like throwing, just throwing your gun right at, right in God's face, but you know, it's a little different. Not quite, enemies aren't quite gods and this is not a gun, it's a, it's a sword. So it looks like there's two of them. Yep, two of them. No problems. Just right here. Didn't quite accept that really right then. But, um... Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I just had to take care of something for my cat. She was just meowing, so I, I pet her. I think she just wanted to see me because it's really late. And she hasn't seen me in a few hours. So, this thing. Your forest water has become plain water. Good. So now we can do that other quest. Ooh, a bunch of rupees. We can do the quest that I was gonna do last time before I messed it up. And push the button when I wasn't supposed to push the button. Is that it? Should be it. Yep. And there's a chest over there. I genuinely don't know what's in it because I don't remember this place. Oh, I missed that rupee. Oh, there's a pot here. No, oh, only three rupees in it. So we got to go over here. Oh, we got an orange rupee. Okay. 100. I wonder if there's... Uh, I'm not... I'm, again, I'm not used to the... Analog stick. Because of how I... The camera... The C-stick. Oh, and it just pushes us out here. Anyway, I want to show you what happens when you... I want to show what happens when you, um, when you just walk into the, um, wind without, when you take your boots off in the wind. So it just does this, like in Super Mario 64, kind of, but not quite as fast. I'll meet you out by the boat. 
Wait, what did I get? I don't remember what I- oh, I got 100 rupees, okay. I was like, oh, I don't even remember what I even- what I got before. Sometimes I don't pay attention that well. Oh, I said that I would- uh, I said that I would see her out at the- the boat, but I forgot about that. And now I've gotten this rupee here. But I can just fall. Thanks. For real now, I'll actually see you by the boat. Oh, we can actually uh, dump out our water now. So, our next thing that we're going to do right now is... Um, Go directly back to Forest Haven, which is right there. So we need to um, go that away. Hang on. Yeah. So I'll just go there. Wait, no, we can just warp there. Completely forgot. Yeah, see, we can just warp there. And the music is playing now. So that's nice. So we just need to get out. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna buy... No. The temples where the stages, the sages awake cannot be entered easily. It is at times such as this when one would be wise to gather information from those who live in the seas nearby. Okay. I need to go visit Beetle really quick. Um, and a hioi, hioi pair. You got a hioi pair. This special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. Choose your bait bag on the item screen and set it to Y, Z, or X to use it. When controlling seagulls, tap A to flap your wings and accelerate. Press R to quit. Thank you. We have 13 points. Bye. And that's all we need. See you inside the forest haven. Oh, I, I forgot that you don't need to press L and... Press L to zoom out. You can pause on the, uh, when you're aiming your grappling hook, though. Okay, now this time, let's make sure to not get the water. I think we actually, these are what we need, not the little blue orbs. We need a forest firefly. It's actually really hard to do. Oh, it's one of these that we need. I forgot. You caught a forest firefly in your bottle. A strange light emanate, emanates from this mystical creature. Now, if we actually go to it here, it says this mystical creature unleashes mysterious bursts of light. I hope it's not radioactive. Oh, I, I never actually noticed this before, but it's actually a rainbow around it. I thought it was just blue and yellow. So now, we're gonna go back to, um, to Linzo and have him, um, keep going on with the quest. But first, we need to move this off there. 
All right, now I need to go to Windfall Island. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. The sea's a fine thing, to be sure, but it's not r until I get back to town again that I can really relax, you know what I mean? When I see the area around this fine-looking gate we got here, well, that's when I really start feeling good. Yeah, that gate in particular just says, at long last, you're home, boy. I suppose that's the feeling that I'm talking about, that coming home feeling. I remember another character in another game that I played within the last several months has a discussion about home and about coming back home at a specific place. And also, um... Wait, where do I need to go? Do I need to go? Yeah, I need to go here. See the camera on the... See the camera up there? Yeah, well, you need to go in here. As long as it's not homecoming, it should be fine. Alright. Lanzo, here we go. My assistant, Link. Allow me a brief query. Do you perchance know about pictographs with color? I have researched this concept for many years, and at long last I understand it. A stronger light is needed to imbue color in the pictograph. No ordinary light will do. In fact, ordinary light must be overcome. Color pictography requires a light of the very brightest intensity. Now, I have heard, the, heard tales of a mystical creature in a place called the Forest Haven. It is said to be the tiniest of creatures, one that unleashes an otherworldly light. As an aid to me in my research, could you possibly use an empty bottle to capture one of these creatures of legend? Way ahead of you, because I got one. Oops. Right here. Here you go. Is... Is that why I feared the secret light had been extinguished forever? Is that truly one of the long fabled forest fireflies? Oh glory, my fine assistant Link. For ages, it has been said that the forest fireflies possess a mystical power. For your efforts, I shall place this one inside your box. Come on now, hand me your picto box, if only for a moment. And with that, you got a deluxe picto box. It has been imbued with a mystical light, so now it can take color pictographs. Set it to and use it with Y, Z, or X. Oh, no, those pictographs of yours that have forever lacked the scintillating palette of life should henceforth show the world as it was meant to be in living color now that was quite an easy thing to do after all ah well such is life now go out there and snap pictographs snap them in color for me for all the years i spent unable to do so go to it link okay what else do you say i wonder Guess what, young Link? Today is a great day for pictography. Today marks the day long past when I, as a young lad still struggling to reach the pinnacle of pictography, received my very first legendary pictograph. A legendary pictograph is an image of a being or essence that has passed beyond the knowledge of this world. They're quite incredible, really. They are images that one comes across only in the rarest of circumstances, but I am the leading photographer in the land. I have managed to gather many of them. And yet, Link, seeing as how you are one who has dedicated his life to the art of photography as I have, I am willing to pass on to you one of these treasured legendary pictographs. If you have any open pictograph slots, I will place the image in your deluxe picto box. Let me see it for a moment, will you? Yeah, let's see what he gives us. Because this is the only way to get some pictographs of certain characters, like 
Ganon because you only see those characters and cutscenes. I shall place this pictograph in there immediately. Er, hmm. Now, perhaps that would be hasty. This is, after all, a very precious thing. I cannot just give it away for free, can I? What do you say, young sir? Will you pay 50 rupees for it? Sure. Oh ho ho ho. I have received my payment, so now without delay. And we get a picture of Ganondorf. Well, isn't this fine? A, a fine pictograph. I just stick this here, and... You got one of the legendary pictographs in your deluxe picto box. For me, every day is pictography day. I cannot wait for tomorrow to come. Alright, so we got that. And we can create a statue of Ganondorf at a thing. That's what we use the legendary pictographs for. But now I need it to be nighttime. I'll just keep that there. What we need specifically is for it to be a full moon. No. Just keep doing it until it is. Ah, so it's waning right now. Ah, now it's a crescent moon. Oh, and it goes completely to the other side. No need to worry about new moons, I guess. The moon. It's always there. Outside of worrying about us. Outside the s system. Just think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're looking at it? No. Wait, no, I need to check the moon. Almost there. Even if humans were gone, it would still shine on, illuminating the lands beneath. Now I need to take a picture. Yay. Okay. That's good. That's good, too. Now, we need to go talk to a character over here. Oh, you're in the daytime. I forgot. Or maybe, maybe this character moves, I don't know. Alright, now we gotta... I'm actually gonna talk to this character first. You pesky little brat. No one understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody. Not you, not anybody. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? Completely. Oh really? Then how about a little test to see if you really do? I want you to show me a picture of the, perf the first perfectly round pale thing that you can think of. If you can show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. And I'll acknowledge that you understand the workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring it to me. Picture of the moon? is what that person asks for. Oh, that's right. This certainly is the pictograph I've been looking for. The correct answer is exactly what you've shown me, the full moon. Unrequited love may have twisted me up inside, but I can still find peace when I gaze at the timeless moon. And of all her phases, I particularly love gazing at the full moon. I know I, I caused you a lot of trouble, but thanks. I really mean it. I want you to have this for all your efforts. Just a little reward for easing the pain of this troubled heart. You got a treasure chart. I forgot this is what we get. But I don't remember what we get from the chest that's in at the treasure chart location. Open your C chart and yeah. Okay. Okay. This supposedly has a spot on it that marks where some sunken treasure is. Lies. I don't have a boat, so I can't leave this island to go look for it anyway. Tonight, I'll be asking the night sky to help you find that treasure. Best of luck. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Alright, now we can dispose of this camera. I mean, this picture and that picture. Believe the uh, Gandorf one. 
there. All right, now, I guess we should take go take care of that Ganondorf pitcher. See you back at the, um... Wait a minute. Wait, I don't remember how to do this for sure. All right, so... We need to go to here. But... I have to go all the way to there. I'll I'll try to do it anyway. See you in a in a minute, I guess. Now we need to go up to the top. All right, now we can just fly down here. There we go. And we need, oh. There's a higher level we need to get to. Let's keep going. As many of you know, I, I don't like this part. I don't like having to use these um, flower things. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess that we have to go all the way up here. In order to do what we need to do. Oh, yep. Obviously, since it's showing the cutscene of that area, Apparently, I guess that's what we need to do. Let me get some magic here. Oh, that's a lot of magic, okay. They really want you to make sure you can go down there. We need to change the wind. Oh, no, I guess it just defaults to this part. All right, now we need to go north. Can't see the island down there, but yeah, let's just jump down. And then we'll just gradually go down here. Talk to this character. You, you're incredible. Did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you can fly, do you think maybe you can hit that switch over there? Huh? Can you? Huh? You can't see it? It's just over there, up towards the top of the forest haven. Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? Oh, well, let's just say. Palace of Figurines, Nintendo Gallery. Membership required to enter. Oh. Yeah, I remember. We need... It's, I'm really glad that I bought a Hyoi pair earlier because um, that's the that's what we need to use. Oh, and it's it's like Mario 64 um, flying mechanics, and that um, does the switch and opens this up here. I guess maybe we could have done it from somewhere else. And then just climbed up. Oh, and now we can actually just stop. Does this sign change? Nope. Membership required to enter. Well, too bad. 
I have no membership and I'm just gonna jump in here. And this is what the Nintendo Gallery looks like. Oh, and you can see there's like backgrounds behind each of the doors. That's neat. So, you remember this whole time. Awesome. Hey, and thanks to you, I got in and became a member too. Check it out. I gave this guy a pictograph and he gave me this figurine in return. Talk about cool. This will be all the rage. Welcome. Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery, Figurine Palace, Orange Heart. This is your This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide um provide you with an introduction, I hope. Ah, well no worries, one way or the other. We've been losing our members due to a lack of a gimmicky attractions. But we don't but we don't worry. True fans know that we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to uh, become a member of our club? The figurines that we have on display here have all been made using our pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me, the master sculptor, a pictograph that steals my breath away, then you'll become a member and you'll become able to view the collection in our galleries and want that to be nice. Do you have such a pictograph? Yes, we do. Of Ganondorf. Show this picture. Ah, ha, mmm. This, this is a quite an inspiration, inspiring motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. So what's your name, a kid? Link? Link, is it? Well, Link. This officially marks your introduction to our lit into our little club, Orange Heart. I think I should be done with this tomorrow. If you'd like, you can go ahead and take a look at our gallery in the meantime. Do you have anything else to say? Oh no, Link. The figurine making process is a trade secret, I'm afraid. I can't let you take any pictographs of my work. Could you come back tomorrow? Do you have anything else to say now? You should get some figurines made too! Okay. I don't know where Ganondorf goes, but we'll just go in here. And, uh... Yeah, and... Oh! I've never actually been in here myself. But yeah, this is what the figurine gallery looks like. What's this say? Viewing your favorite figurines. Analog stick. Up and down. Move up and down. Uh, left and right. Rotate. Zoom by tilting up and down on the C-stick. A to view an explanation. B to quit. Talk about simple. Okay. Wait. There's a pot in here. Does that mean? No. No. Never mind. Let's go. Um, there's one last thing that I want to do today before I call it over. Where's my boat? Ah, my boat's right here. Perfect. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to go to the, the cabana. Oh, I think I figured out why it blinks, why the Wind Waker blinks red on each note, because the middle thing is red. That's probably why. I'm just gonna go to Tower of the Gods because I think it's somewhere in... I'm gonna go here, actually. And... Oh, no, well, we can... We can go feed the fish over here. No. Forgot to change the thing. Let's go feed the fish. And then get this island's sea chart. We have no time for small fry.
This is Southern Triangle Island, I think. I didn't read it when it was there. Listen up, small fry. This is just between you and me. On outside island, buried beneath the black soil, there is some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. And that's it. Now I need to go... I'm just gonna go north. Actually, first I'm gonna check to make sure that I got the upgrade in this island. I probably have. Let me check my... I might not have gotten this yet. I'm still gonna check it anyway. I, I think I have, actually, because it was... the thing was broken. Yep. Never mind. Alright, let's... Where's my boat? Oh. They moved my boat. That's not fair. Alright, let's go north. Oh, I forgot about the zooming out thing again. Oh, I don't like that area up there. I think it's somewhere around in here. Oh, that's just seagulls. I think this is it, actually. The, um... Wait, no. This is a headstone island. Okay, where's the fish? Oh, there's the fish. I think when I feed the fish, this is gonna be the end of this episode. Wait, where? No, it moved! Oh, it's just over here now. Yeah. I think this is gonna be... the end of this episode. Because it's getting kinda long now, and I kinda wanna not have it drag on too long. And this island is... Southern Headstone Island? Stone Watcher Island, I forgot. I don't know if I ever got here on my playthrough. So tell me, small fry, have you heard about the Golden Triumph Forks? There are such things, and there is a chart that'll show you where to find them on that island there. Oh, okay, well that's good. If you want it, try asking that huge grouchy looking Stone Watcher. I doubt you could even budge the thing, though. You've got skinny arms, Fry. No, we we have the the um, power bracelets or whatever they're called. All right, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna sail over here, so at least we don't have to start the episode too far away. So um. So, um, goodbye for now.